Drawing a Winter Portrait. For today's project, I used paper, pencil, a permanent marker, and crayons. Today's project is going to be a winter portrait. I'm going to be doing a lot of drawing and erasing as I go today, so make sure you draw lightly and have your eraser ready. The first thing I'm going to do for this portrait is I'm going to make my mittens. So I'm going to take my paper, and when you hold something and you're looking at the person, your fingers are in front and your thumb's behind. So what I'm going to do is turn my paper, I'm doing it vertical because it's a portrait, I'm going to turn it to the side and I'm just going to trace around my hand. And I don't have to be right around my fingers because this is going to be a mitten. And I'm not going to worry about my thumb. I'm just making a shape like this on one side. I'm going to do my left. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the same thing from the right. Again, I'm going to just go around my fingers. It can be a little wiggly because it's going to be fuzzy mitten. Now I have my mitten shapes on each side of my paper. Now for this portrait, we're going to be holding a cup of something that you would drink in the cold weather. Maybe cider, maybe hot chocolate. So I'm going to make right in the middle here. I'm actually going to turn it so it's easier for me to make an oval because you're going to be seeing the top of my mug just a little bit. It's hard to hang onto a mug with fuzzy mittens. So I'm going to kind of make an oval shape like that right in the middle. So that is the top of my cup. Now you can decide whether you want it to be a mug or maybe it's um different containers. Some people have the travel mugs. So if you decide if you want it to be a shorter mug or a longer mug, these sides generally are parallel. I have it come down a little further. This one, maybe I'm going to make like a travel mug. So it's really tall. So it's coming down. I don't have to draw through my mittens. Those are solid. And the edge of my mug up here is curved. That's the top of my mug. So the bottom should be curved too. So this line here that's curved, I want to make that same curve down here and that will make this look more like a 3D cylinder. So we're basically drawing a cylinder here. Now I can add my thumbs for my mittens and I'm going to have them here going behind my mug because when I hold the mug, you're seeing it from the front, my thumbs are behind hanging out. So I'm just going to make a little mark like that to be my thumb and you can decide what's going to be in here. And one of the fun things is you can decorate this. People have all kinds of mugs and they pick them out based on their interests. So you can design a Buffalo Bills mug, a Rainbow Art Teacher mug, any kind of design that you want to go on here. Now I'm going to start a little bit of the portrait. This isn't a true portrait where you're seeing a person's face like in a photograph but you can get a lot of information about a person by the way they dress and their coffee mug and what kind of mittens they wear. So for right now, I'm gonna make just a shape like this. That's gonna be our chin. So again, you're not seeing much of our face. And I'm gonna add the details because this is a winter portrait. So I need to make some things to show that we are dressed for winter. So I make two curved lines like this and down comes my scarf. Now I can add my shoulders. I'm gonna have a big puffy winter coat. And if you wanna just indicate a little bit there, a little smile. If you have long hair, like my hair's getting kind of long, you can add a little hair. Some of you might have short hair. And you might have your scarf like this. You might have part of your scarf tucked in. And again, we're thinking about layers. So this is behind my mittens. I'm going to have a long scarf coming down like that. And I don't see it here, the jacket, so I'm going to kind of pretend I'm making the fold of my jacket where it meets. Okay, I put it right there. Everything else is in front of it, so I don't see it till the bottom half. I could add some buttons to button my jacket. And one of the things that I like to do, again, because this is kind of a portrait where you're telling a lot of information through the objects on the person. So I'm gonna make a pocket down here. I have this space open. 
I'm gonna make the top of a pocket. And I'm gonna put things in here that say something about me. Maybe you have a candy cane in your pocket. It's the holidays or it's leftover and you like candy. Maybe you are an art teacher and you always have a pencil in your pocket. So this is something that you can say a little bit of information about you, what is in your pocket. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I like to outline. So I'm gonna do that next. Now I'm going to add my color. I chose to use crayons today. You might find this surprising, but as an art teacher, I have a lot of things with rainbow patterns. And my favorite color is green. I hope you have fun making your own winter-themed portrait.